Hello, this is Hani from Digital Logic with another episode of Under the Macro. Today we're going to be looking at the CineGears Digital Lens Wireless Control System. This particular unit can support up to six motors uh, for the purpose of stereo type work where you'll have two lenses and then you're controlling uh, iris, uh, focus and zoom. The CineGears Digital Wireless Lens Control System is actually so easy to use and set up that the entire configuration page of the manual is just printed on the back. Basic instructions are etched in on the back of the controller and really that's all you need on set. Before I start, the kit came to us uh, in, in really every component ready to go. It had multiple uh, different uh, teeth uh, and various pitches, so there was 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 1.0, um, and uh, different uh, teeth in, in that as well. Uh, it also had various different um, magnetized clip-on uh, beveled marking rings. There was the bevel type and also the more traditional type flat, flat one as well. Um, there was a couple of different types of brackets. There was the extended brackets to give you longer reach and really get around the barrels and the standard ones as well, which are the ones we're using at the moment. Uh, we've got a Canon 15.5 to 47 millimeter, which has the PL mount, uh, which was done by Duclos lenses. Um, and then all the cables basically that came with the system and the receiver, everything ready to go to set it up and run. What we also noticed straight out of the box is how well this unit is built. It's quite a sturdy unit. It's all uh, CNC aluminium machined. Um, it seems to be built quite well. Um, and same as the motors. The motors aren't plastic, they're metal, and actually the standard gearings, the 0.8s that come with the motors, are metal as well, steel. Um, so we'll go through that, uh, that process. So the first thing we did with the digital system, you can automatically set the start and stop limits without having to manually set the limits of the lens. Traditionally in analog systems, you had to manually set um, the min and max positions of the range that you're covering. With this sort of system, it's, it's uh, all automatic. So when we turn it on, you can see at the moment there's a red light there. I'll turn this unit on. Um, it's going it's green. It's got the connection. Um, to pair, it's quite easily. Um, this has already been paired, but if it wasn't paired, all you would do is press the set button and the power button, which is a blue anodized button. Hold that in for three seconds, and then the units would pair. And then you'd press, this would, this would go from a red to a green. This would still normally be red you'd hold the code button and then it would look for the pairing. They would pair and that would go green. When they're both green, they're both connected and they're ready to go. First thing that you do once you get this sort of system out of the box and wire it all up, install the motors, you know, put the uh, iris support brackets and mount it all up, run all the cables into the receiver, power the receiver. We're powering it via a DTAP cable from this battery. First thing you want to do with a digital system is do the automatic calibration because it's so easy to do. You do have an option to do each axis manually. You can also have an option to remap the range if you don't want to use the entire range, and we'll go through that later. But let's just say we're going to do an automatic uh, calibration. What I'm going to do is press and hold the set button, and then press the all button down here, and hold them for three seconds, and you should see all these run through the max and min points, and then stop, and then go back to the center. So I'll hold those two down. You can see the whole three motors, they're basically going to the maximum, minimum and coming back. So it's done the iris, zoom, and there's a focus. Let's come back to the middle. So they're all done. So we're ready to go and you can just see by if I turn the focus, if I do the iris, you see the iris there, and then there's the zoom. And what you can do also with this system, you've got along the top here three dials in three different colors, and they're basically to set the speed. The speed is not used when you're manually operating these things, because obviously you control how fast you, you do the movement will then correspond to, uh, to the speed of the lenses. But these are for the presets. You've got four presets that you can set. So basically, on the control box on the LCD screen, you'll see these, these values, and it'll basically telling you the range. So it's 71 on the iris. If I go all the way down, there's zero go all the way up, I'm at 100. So if I was to go down to say the bottom on both of these and hold the A button, it will basically set, set a point and you'll see the lights will flash for a second and go away. I've just set A to position these two here 
and wherever the focus was. So it's recording all those three. If I then move these up, say part way, turn this a little bit, and then hold the B button there, the lights will flash for a second and go away. It's just set the, the next button, next position of all those three iris, zoom, and focus. I'll move it up again. I'm going to hold C now. If I set now C, hold for a second and let go. I've set that. And I'll go all the way to the top, for example. Move this along and then press the D for a second. It's going to flash and go away. I've just set those four markers and the speeds now will work in terms of the effect of those dials and positions they're at. So if I was to say press A, it's going to really drop all these down. At the moment I'll put all the speeds, say, to minimum, just so you can see how slow that is. So the three dials here are for focus, zoom and iris. If I press A, you see how slow all those lenses are working. You can see the screen there. And that's how slow it's moving those movements. You can get all the way to the point. Quite slow. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so slow. But here we are. We're almost there. Now, if I bring that, say, halfway, I'm going to bring them halfway, and then I'm going to press B. So I'm going to move a short distance. You can see how much quicker that is if I go to C. There it is. I'll go back to A. And that's half the speed. If I was to go, say, to max, it's the, the fastest that it's going to show. You'll see how quick this will happen. A, B, C, D. So the good thing about having the three dials is that you can independently, obviously the throw of each uh, axis here is going to vary. Um, as you can see, the iris is only got a, a, a throw of, of a distance, a really short distance. So you want to be able to control that speed. Uh, the iris doesn't need to be nowhere near that quick. So if I do that, say, 25% roughly, and then I move that for the iris, I'll also move them both halfway. And now I move from one extreme to the other. You can see the iris is a gradual iris shift there. And so it's quite handy having the individual axis and be able to control the speeds. So that's only for that, as I said to you. You've obviously got the choice also to do it manually. Uh, at the moment we're on A, where are we at? Get rid of that. So now I'm out of that preset because that light was on before. Now I can control it manually. So if I go back to B, I'm in preset B. You can see that light's still on at B. It's the position I'm holding. If I try to turn this dial, it's not allowing me to because it's in the preset mode. If I go to A, go to A, press it again, go out of it, and now you've got control of the lens manually as you normally would in controlling your speed by how quickly you move it. So in summary, uh, we've just gone through the Cinegears multi-axis wireless lens control system. Uh, what we've discussed is basically how to connect it all up, how simple it is, and how to auto-calibrate it. Uh, basically by pressing two buttons, it goes through and auto-calibrates the limits, and then you're ready to use. We've also discussed the preset options where you can preset marks, and by pressing your four options for four presets, and it records and stores uh, iris, zoom, and focus positions in those buttons. And then you can swap between those positions. And you also have uh, the ability to set the speed of each of those uh, axes, whether it's focus, zoom, or, or iris. We also discussed uh, the ability to turn this light on, uh, working in dark places, it's quite handy. We talked about the inbuilt battery and the way you charge it via the uh, USB port there. You've also got the option that comes in the kit where if you don't want to use wireless, you can connect it through a hard cable into the back of the receiver, which can be handy if you're on set and something goes wrong or there's a lot of interference in that local area and you still need to use it um, and you're able to get away with connecting a cable. Um, this one, like I said, you has also options to start and stop, ARRI, uh, RED, Canon, um, at the moment, we're running the, the cable in there for the ARRI. So if I hit record there, you'll see the, the record light come on. There it is there. It's recording. Record's on there. I press it again. Stop. So really good, really reliable. We've had it on a job all day. It's worked fantastic. Um, and price is just amazing for what it is. Um, so currently, we have uh, both systems, the single and the multi-axis in rentals and sales. To give you an idea, 
the uh, single axis kit complete with motor cable uh, and a case is just over the $2,000 mark Australian and for the multi-axis system which is the one that we've just gone through today you can uh, buy one of those for just under the $4,000 mark again with the motors, three motors, the case, the cables and all the various different gears, pitch gears um, uh, that come in the system. So um, that's really all there is to it. We will try to uh, do a, a video next week of Under the Macro focusing more on the single axis uh, control system. Uh, until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.